can you use OBS as a video editing software? There's a few ways of doing this. If you set it up in the right way, you can actually eliminate the need for any type of video editing. So this is what I use. And let me explain how you can do this. Okay, so here's how you can stop using video editing software. If you plan and set up your OBS session in a way that lets you smoothly transfer between screens, cameras, scenes and effects, you can do it. Let me explain exactly what I'm on about. If you've seen my other video before this one about explaining how to use OBS in under five minutes, I explain the scenes, sources, audio mixer and the controls. Then I have a wide shot. In wide shot, I have a camera, HDMI camcorder, which is up there. So that scene has a shortcut key as well. I'll explain later on in the video about shortcut keys and 10 tips that you need to know to make your live stream or video recording really easy. So if I go F1, that goes to the main screen, which is this one here. If I go F2, it goes to the secondary screen. You go to F3, there's another screen, and then F4 shows my desktop. So these are all things that are very interesting and intriguing to be able to do in a live recording session. I'm actually recording this live onto my hard drive at the moment. So if you were to go to a twin cam or a different screen on this setup, what it allows you to do is put more things in. So you'll see in wide shot, I had only Canon and HDMI camcorder. Twin cam, I have Canon camera, which is my DSLR as a webcam, which is currently being used here, there. So I'm not using it twice. You can't use it twice. Um, HDMI camcorder, which is up here. I have a top down HDMI view. How does this eliminate your need for video editing software? Well, let me show you how. I start my video recording process and I press start recording and I start speaking to the camera and then I can actually clip. Well, you need to be quite uh, good at doing like a live session. Think of it as every video is live. What you're doing or what you're saying is actually going down and being recorded. So that means you can't really edit stuff. So if you make a mistake, you'll have to edit the video. A lot of my videos, the past two to 300 videos are recorded in this way where I'm just saying what I want to say and it records exactly what you're hearing. So there's slight mistakes in there. I'm not too fussy, to be honest. If I'm teaching you something and it helps you, I carry on recording. So now I put that new one in as a chroma key effect and see that subscribe button. In the same way as adding a subscribe button, I can, I can add in another video clip or a photograph and that all allows you to, let me go to watch and explain this. So that allows you to add in multiple things in your stream as an effect. So in the same way, I can do a countdown timer, which I'll place right now there. So you see that countdown timer, I'm doing this live, so it's not edited. And then let me show you how I get rid of the green screen effect quickly. This is covered in my other tutorial, but I'll show you it quickly. So if I go to this, so okay, now I have this green screen effect here. But if you go on to five minute timer here, right click on it and do filters and effects filters, you can do an add chroma key effect Call it chroma key, okay, close, and now you'll see that timer's come up there. The third word is insane, and it's actually see-through. In the same way, you can have a subscribe button like I showed you a little while ago. I'm just clicking that in there. So I have multiple things in there, which means I don't need to edit. And because I have multiple cameras, that's even better, because what that allows you to do is you can use multiple cameras to switch between what you're showing so that's an extra thing that you don't need timers uh, editing for. So like, for example, these all these cameras are recording live as we're speaking. I'm just switching between the cameras and they're all recording onto one file with the audio going in, which I explained in my earlier setup. I can't go too fancy with this, but you can do the main things that you'd like to do. And the main types of videos I do is talking shots and I'm showing you examples. It makes it dead easy. I've got two cameras, three cameras set up. One's facing down on my desk. And when I'm showing an example of something, I can easily just do examples and show you everything I need to show you and it's like as it happens you see it so if there's a mistake that happens and I'm doing it I can say wait a minute if you were to do this process you might come to this mistake so I prefer to you to see the whole thing so that's a bit more about OBS and diving into how you can how it can stop your video editing needs to an extent if you want to go really fancy you might still need a video editor setting up OBS for recording is an essential part of making your workflow really streamlined this next video shows you exactly how I did that and the steps I'm going to get these OBS videos out to you so I'll see you on that next one